What is it, my YouTube minions? I have battled here against uh, Calamity Greed. And uh, this is a guy I battled like one time in the past, something like that. And uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and do it. Um, so this is a UU battle. It's actually his birthday, so I agree to battle him. He's from my stream Discord. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. But uh, yeah, so there's the teams. Um, like I said, I've been doing a lot of UU battles recently, so hopefully that will uh, help me a little bit as far as experience goes. And um, yeah, I'm actually trying a Loma Mola for like the first time ever. It's actually a pretty good special wall. I kind of got walled by it a few times, but uh, yeah, now we're going to see how good it can be. Anyway, so um, yeah, he's going to go ahead and lead with Beedra. I'm going to go ahead and lead with my Aerodactyl. And um, yeah, we're obviously both Megas, and I'm just going to go for um, you know the flying move, being that it's super effective. And uh, no, he's just going to go out into his Lisco. It's a good play, knowing that it, short of uh, having like Ice Fang, I really don't have anything for him, and I don't actually have Ice Fang. On this particular Mega Aerodactyl, so it's uh, not really going to be able to do a whole lot. So um, I actually decided to go for the Stone Edge. I kind of want to see how much it'll do, but also if he does try to switch out to Scout, if I do have um, Ice Fang, I should do decent damage to whatever he goes into. Now he goes go does go out into his Jellicent, and uh, that's going to do a very nice chunk, a little over half to, to his Jellicent. So that's kind of nice. And, um, no, he's just gonna withdraw now and, uh, go out into Blue, who is, um, obviously his Gliscor again. Because it's Blue, I get it. Anyway, so, he go just go for another Stone Edge. Doesn't do that much to Gliscor, uh, because it's like a bulky, physically bulky god of, well, pretty much, uh, Pokemon. So, yeah, I'm just gonna go to my Swampert, and, uh, he's just gonna go for the Roost, which I kind of predicted. Um, I don't actually have Ice Beam on this Swampert, so, yeah, I should probably get it, because, to I mean... Obviously, Scald is going to do a decent amount of damage to here, but um, I could have probably killed it, and uh, I'm kind of curious that he stays in risking the Ice Beam. Um, I kind of thought he would switch, but no, he just takes the Scald, which is about half. And in comes his Jellicent again, which I can't actually hurt, really, with this Swampert. But I do go for the Stealth Rock on the Switch. I didn't think he would stay in and take another Scald, uh, because it would do more than he can Roost for. But, uh, yeah, so gonna go ahead and switch out now. I go back into, oh, sorry, I go into my Aloma Mola for the first time as he goes for a recover. And, um, here we are both going to go for the Toxic. And, uh, this time he's gonna, you know, get a little bit of revenge for missing the Toxic earlier as, uh, I miss my Toxic and he hits it on my Aloma Mola. So, there you go. Hacks kind of, um, repay it there. So... Yeah, I really don't have much to do, actually, so I'm going to go ahead and switch out my Aloma Mola and go into my Breloom, and yeah, my Breloom is uh, sashed, actually, so I know I can li live a hit from something. He goes into his Gliscor, and I'm like, well, time to see who's better, Breloom's physical stuff or Gliscor's um, defensive stuff. So I just go for the Bullet Seed, which is obviously being boosted by my Technician ability. End up getting the crit, so if I get the third hit here, I will be able to actually take down Gliscor, which is actually pretty awesome. Actually, I think I might be needed three either way, so I don't know, really know if that crit mattered, but, well, you know, it, it made it it made it made a definite, so there you go. Anyway, so in comes Beedrill again. Like I said, I have the Sash. I decided to try to go for the Rock Tomb in case he wants to, like, Poison Jab me, um, but he's actually going to wisely U-turn instead of doing that. Um, like I said, I did have the Sash, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I mean, he couldn't have killed me. I was just really hoping that I could maybe kill it. But uh, no, he's going to go into his Lucario. So I do get the minus one speed on this thing, but I'm thinking, okay. Lucario is typically either carry, bullet punch, or extreme, spe extreme speed. I prefer extreme speed, so um, I'm really kind of scared. I know that I can outspeed with Mach Punch if he has bullet, pe uh, bullet seed because of that minus one speed. But I decided to switch out. Because I predicted the extreme speed. I didn't want to lose Breloom quite yet. And unfortunately, he does have the Bullet Punch. So I would have been able to outspeed there with Mach Punch. So that makes me feel really kind of bad. So, yeah. I end up taking some unnecessary damage there on Gengar. Which will probably come back to hurt me later. And I'll just go back to my little Bamola here. And, uh, yeah. I know I probably can't take... Yeah, this Swords Dance is going to actually really hurt. Because... After a Surge Dance, he can pretty much do anything he wants. And I go for the Toxic actually predicting the Switch. I didn't think he'd want to take the Scald, so that was kind of a poor play. And now I'm like, well, that blows. And uh, yeah, he's going to go ahead and go for that Close Combat, which will take out a low Mamola. So yeah, I have a plus two Lucario. Thankfully, it's a minus one speed Lucario. And now that I know that it's Bullet Punch for sure, I can go back into my Breloom, which I know that I can uh, get the outspeed here with Mach Punch and take it out. 
But uh, he is going to realize, in fact, he made a nice play with that, uh, bluffing the extreme speed. Um, but now that he knows, now that he knows I know that he has bullet punch, I can just go for the mock punch, and he's going to go into his, um, his, uh, his elf. And I didn't want to give this thing, like, a free stealth rock, because that's what I thought he would do. If I thought it would be, like, lead his elf, it's probably not, though. Um, but he just flamethrower kills me, so I was just going for the spore. Um, figuring they would probably kill me, but whatever. Anyway, it's going to go back into my aerodactyl. And, uh, his elf is very frail, so I can just kind of murder it now. And, uh... Yeah, in comes Lucario again, and I know that he has Bullet Punch, but at full health, I'm pretty sure I can take one. So I'm just going to go for the Earthquake to get rid of this guy, because Lucario is a threat. We actually both brought Lucario. You didn't notice in Team Preview, so... Oh, that was pretty interesting, considering Lucario, I believe, is not even UU by usage. I think it's like, uh... I think it's actually BL in, uh... Well, it, it's uh, R-U-B-L. But anyway, in comes, um... Uh, yeah, Hydreigon. And, uh, yeah, this guy is just going to go ahead and fire blast me. So I make the right prediction here uh, by staying and just going for the roost. I thought he would try to predict Lucario, and I got that correct, which is awesome, because now I can just roost. And uh, this definitely Scarf, because he outspeeds me. And I know that he's locked into fire blast, so I know there's really no reason not to just go for the second roost. So it comes Jealous in here, and I know that it's probably just going to try to scald me. I decided to go into my Gengar, and I know that it's at um, a little bit less than half, but Jellicent doesn't have, it typically isn't very special attack invested, so I know I can probably survive one Scald and then probably kill it with um, a Shadow Ball. So in comes my Gengar, he does go for the Scald, I do live it, but he gets the burn! So I'm like, okay, that kind of blows, um, but whatever, whatever, whatever. If I can just get a Sword Stance to my Lucario, I win, because I carry Crunch on it. So I'm just going to go to Lucario. What are the odds that, you know, Scald will burn me twice in a row? Let's just go for that SD and uh, kind of pray I don't get burned. Because if I don't, then I can crunch this thing and just extreme speed and, uh, you know, the rest of his team. Uh, pretty much everything dies, but he gets the burn. So I'm like, he gets the burn again! So some birthday luck going on for him. I go for the crunch, even with the uh, normal now speed. And, uh, yeah, he's just going to kill me with a hex. So, I was pretty mad about that. But, you know what? You know what? It's fine. It's fine, guys. I think I still win this. Because I can go into my Aerodactyl. I'm at full health. So I'm going to go ahead and kill this thing. I know that I can, at full health, probably live even a um, Draco Meteor from his uh, Hydra Gum. I can kill that, cripple the Beedrill, or just straight up kill the Beedrill. I mean, really, that that's all I really want to do, and then maybe uh, wrap it up with Swampert if necessary. So, I I know I'm going to be able to probably live this uh, Draco Meteor. Oh. 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 So, good game, I guess? <laughs> so I go to my Swampert, and I'm really wishing I, I actually did carry Ice Beam on this thing. Because it might actually give me a chance to win, but I don't. So I'm just going to go for the Scald, because my two attacking moves, I think, are Scald and Earthquake. And, uh, yeah, neither of those are going to be helpful against Hydreigon. So, yeah, he's just going to go into Beedrill, which is actually a really good play to reset his special attack. And uh, now he can obviously, re um, you know, change his move. He can go for the Dark Pulse, which uh, doesn't have the minus two special attack drawback. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to lose now. So, good game! I mean... You know, that kind of sucks. Um, you know, I don't know. Two Scald Burns. I, I lost to two Scald Burns and a crit all in a row. But that's the way the game plays sometimes. Thank you for the match. Um, and, you know, happy birthday, man. So anyway, yeah, that's a good game. So today's question of the day is going to be, if you were an architect designing a gym, uh, what would you make your gym look like? Um, so I guess that highly depends on the type you're going to choose. Um, as for me, I would probably make the entire thing out of skull with a tiny little, um, you know, candle right in the middle. And, and that's where I'm going to stand. Um, in like a, you know, hockey mask. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, uh, I don't know. It, it's, uh, definitely an interesting question. It's something that you have to kind of think about. But, um, I would probably, I, I do like the design of, um, Bugsy's Gym in Gen 4, uh, the remake, with the, uh, you know, spinner rack carts, but, um, I'd probably try to design something like that, because that'd just be fun, maybe a roller coaster, add that in there, 
uh, like in uh, what's her face is uh, Lady Gaga's gym in Gen 5 or whatever her name is. Uh, that's pretty cool. But yeah, definitely something like that. And uh, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd put some like uh, traps there so they had to battle my trainers, like uh, dead ends and stuff. But uh, yeah, that's how I would do it. Anyway, so leave a comment about that and see you guys again next time. Later.